If you want to grow your business, sometimes the best inspiration can come from nature. And that's what we're talking about today with the spider web marketing technique. It's a, or probably more accurate to call it a strategy. So this strategy, uh, once you adopt it, you know, you'll have more of a strategic view of what it is and how you should be laying out and planning your content marketing, not just for driving traffic, but also for, for growing leads. And I should mention too that we have consistently used this strategy uh, at AutoGrow to grow our traffic in 2014 where we were getting virtually no traffic at all, uh, you know, just hundreds of visits per month to now we're getting tens of thousands of visits per month, over 44,000 in fact, and we are continuing to grow uh, and, and apply this, apply this in, in a rinse and repeat fashion. So it's, it's very sustainable. Um, and I, you know, when we were an agency back in, uh, you know, 2014, 2015, you know, I applied this strategy in part two successfully because I was like, you know, if we didn't have to re re uh, rely just on referrals or a word of mouth for, for leads that were coming into the business, uh, that would be great if they could just all come in organically through our website. Um, so it takes a little bit of effort, but uh, we're going to go over what the four vital steps of the spider web marketing strategy is. Um, and you know, let's start by uh, kind of just illustrating the metaphor for a second. So, you know, you look to nature for inspiration and, you know, look at how in this case, uh, a spider, for example, builds its web. Uh, there's a video that we posted as part of the article to go along with this, uh, with this video. Um, if you want to check that out, you can see how, uh, and even if you're scared of spiders, it, it kind of shows it in like a more of a cool way. So it's, uh, don't, don't be afraid, you can watch it. Um, but it shows how the, the spider will kind of like, you know, do a single line and then another line and kind of like the, the initial structure of it. And then it will uh, spiral outward from the center to fill in all the gaps. And, you know, and what is, what is the purpose of this, the spider web in the first place? Well, the, the spider is capturing other bugs uh, so that it can eat, uh, so that it can survive and then it can go on to you know uh, procreate and you know pass on its genes and you know more spiders you know in in the world um, and in in a similar way you know you want to think of your website and specifically your blog pages like you are looking to build a spider web uh not for purposes of, of eating but for purposes of actually capturing uh, nurturing and converting uh, leads and, and traffic coming in into leads that are qualified, that are high quality, and they're ultimately going to uh, buy from you. So, uh, so let's get into what each of the four steps are. Um, and in the article, I, I lay them out uh, in order and I go into a bit more detail than I'm going to be able to go into in this video. So if you want to check out the full article, I encourage you to find the link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube, it's right underneath that thumbs up button. So please uh, like if you like this video, subscribe to get more videos um, where I talk about strategies and techniques like I do in this video, um, and leave a comment as well. Uh, whether you're watching this on YouTube or on our blog, you can leave a comment and I love hearing from you guys. Um, and I'm always like to hear too, like what did you connect with most, what was most relevant to you and what is you know, your biggest challenge? All right, and I do my best to reply to every comment. Okay, so the first step that we're gonna go over is to treat and, and just kind of like shift your mindset a little bit to treat every page on your website as if it was a landing page, okay? And this one's just a game changer. Um, we call it, I, I call it the every page rule, the every page rule. And, um, I've written about this for a long time, but when you think of every page on your website like a landing page, that means that you adopt the mindset that every page is almost like kind of like a, a, a little bit, um, like a miniature salesperson trying to you know, convert someone in some way with some sort of clear call to action, whether that's to join your email list, you know, get a quote, um, you know, buy something, what, whatever the case is, okay? Or just get someone to, take that next step, maybe going from the blog 
to your homepage. All right. Um, and, and furthermore, you know, every visit to your website is valuable and you want to treat it almost like it might be, because it, it will be in a lot of cases, uh, the majority of cases, you know, I think on average, something like 70% of first time visitors won't come back uh, to your website. Um, so this could be, if, unless you're treating every page like a landing page, uh, it's more likely to be the last opportunity that you'll have to capture someone's contact info or just get their attention and present them with um, whatever it is you're offering them in general. All right. And you can do so by applying various conversion techniques on each page and specifically too within blog articles. So for example, um, there are uh, very uh, like numerous points of conversion within each of our own blog articles. And this is also why we've been able to build a large, and active uh, email subscriber lists. So for example, we have our lead magnet in the sidebar of our blog. Uh, we have our newsletter sign up box. Uh, in the byline, there's actually an, an option to subscribe there. Um, we have a content upgrade within a yellow box and a number of other techniques, uh, which I do list out in the full article if you wanna go check that out. Um, now these tactics, they, they work. And there are a reason why when we started from scratch in 2014, and I say started from scratch because I know that some of you are kind of where I was and where uh, our business was back then. Um, and they, they work because they are, they're not super in your face and they're also just kind of like baked into the content. Um, but they have like sort of a compounding effect as you use them and kind of put them more together because we went from converting at like 0.5% to 4.5% uh, uh, conversion rate for every single visit to our website. 4.5% um, would end up subscribing to our email list. Now that has dropped down a little bit in recent, um, in recent months and years because our traffic has grown significantly. And you know, some, in some ways, um, yeah. So I mean, as you grow traffic, like that's kind of be to expect it because some of the traffic might be uh, more long tail like less directly relevant um and it also like growing our email is just hasn't been more of a focus to us it's more like you know meeting demand at this point um but uh the other principle at work there is that giving people a range of offers and a range of options to subscribe to your email list will lead to uh, more opt-ins in general all right step number two is develop consistently fresh content uh, and boost the frequency of your, your publishing schedule whenever you can, okay? So uh, some great research on this. And, I mean, we've just consistently seen our traffic grow in general, the more frequently that we, we published. And you, you wanna always focus on quality over quantity. So if you're not sure how to start, just, just go for once a week and focus on quality over quantity. But according to Research from HubSpot, for example, companies with 16 plus monthly uh, blog posts had about 3.5 times more traffic than companies with only three to four blog posts per month. And 92% 90, of companies that blogged multiple times per day uh, brought in new customers through their blog compared to only 66% that blogged on a weekly basis. So again, it has a compounding effect, the frequency that, that you actually publish content with. Um, now, on the dimension of consistency, 82% of marketers, again, according to HubSpot, who blogged consistently saw a positive ROI from inbound links. So people are linking to you. That's, that's just having a compound effect, more traffic, increased, and increased rag rankings uh, in search engines, according to HubSpot. Uh, but as I was saying, quality counts too. So for example, from Orbit Media, blog posts longer than 2,000 words uh, we're more than 1.5 times more likely, so about 150% uh, more likely to create strong results, stronger results than uh, blog posts that were only 1,000 to 1,500 uh, words in length. 38% of bloggers reported strong results from posts that took uh, over six hours to create compared to just 23% for blog posts that, one to, that took one to two hours. Uh, quality in other words, is more important in terms of bringing in results. 
So the key takeaway is to post more frequently, but also don't let your quality drop at the same time. So there are two more vital steps to the uh, this spider web strategy. And I'm gonna tell you what they are, but to get the full details on it, I want you to go ahead and uh, hit the like button if you're liking this so far, and but go read the full article. Um, the third step is uh, why a little, and you'll read this and you'll learn about this, uh, the answer to this when you actually read the article in full, I'll go over it briefly right now, but why a little SEO research that you do before sitting down to write uh, the actual content can dramatically help your Google search rankings. And the answer to that is, you know, it's just been like a, a really big breakthrough for us because when we decided on one particular keyword or keyword phrase that we want to go after with each article, uh, our traffic just immediately improved. Um, and it's, it's always been that way. You know, it's always, we kind of forgot it for a little bit, but then when we documented as far part of our process, we made sure that we didn't forget that again. And it's just had a, a really big impact. So read the article in full if you want more on that. And finally, uh, final step, how you can turn every page on your website into a landing page uh, and therefore a uh, full-time sales person. Okay, so this, this is actually the final point that I want to give to you. So the fourth and final step is how to identify and strengthen the pages on your blog that are already seeing you know, traffic flowing into them. And again, think of your blog as just an extension at the top of your sales funnel, okay? Uh, but in the article, we also go into more detail about how you can actually strengthen existing blog posts that are already getting uh, traffic funneled into them um, so that they can rank higher, uh, so that uh, they get more traffic, so that they, you can tighten it up too in terms of uh, number of conversions. And a big part of the answer to that is practicing the law of alignment, for example, and expanding too with the law of range from our uh, framework, which we call the 11 laws of sales funnel physics, law of range, saying that the more offers that you have, the more likely one of the offers is to kind of like connect with one of the readers. And uh, law of alignment, where you, know, you say, okay, uh, just setting expectations. Okay, this is the title, did we fulfill on the promise? Um, updating content in general, and otherwise just giving offers uh, for lead magnets, for example, that are just going to align most with that specific topic. All right. Um, but again, I go into more detail on all of this in the article. So go check that out or scroll down if you're already watching this on uh, autogrow.co. And by the way, speaking of growing traffic and leads, if you're looking, if you'd like to delegate all of your digital marketing tasks and projects, delegate all of your digital marketing tasks and projects without the headaches of hiring, then I really encourage you to go check us out at autogrow.co uh, to learn more about how autogrow.co, the team and I, plus our amazing software can help you to actually do that. So think of autogrow kind of like project management software, but with proven professionals, developers, designers, strategists already inside ready and waiting to get work done for you, to get all of your digital marketing tasks and projects done for you. So you, it's, it's one flat fee uh, on a monthly basis. It's very, very affordable. And it's really innovative because you, don't, you just get to skip all the annoying headaches and long process of hiring. Uh, so we have a, have a lot of agencies who are clients. Uh, we have a lot of coaches who are clients, um, a lot of startups and otherwise just growing businesses with existing funnels um, and campaigns and ads. And, you know, they just want help maintaining uh, their websites or optimizing, tweaking their ad campaigns, uh, A-B testing their landing pages, setting up new landing pages, creating new lead magnets. Uh, and we can do all that for you, you know, including the copywriting and the design, um, you know, basic development, maintenance, installing plugins, uh, recommending tools, working within whatever tool set that you already have. Uh, chances are we already have experience with whatever tools uh, tech stack you already have um, and we can we can integrate with it okay so we can integrate with whatever tech you have as well as kind of integrate with your existing workflow very very nicely plus we have a live chat integrated right with the auto grow web app um, so that the way it works you'll submit your project or a task request to us you just type out some notes maybe some examples okay here's what I here's what I want and then uh, you click the button that says make it real 
and then it gets sent over to us. We receive it and we get right to work on it. You get to sit back, relax, and watch as the progress bar moves very transparently uh, from zero to 100%. And if you have any questions or if we need any info or feedback from you, uh, you'll communicate with us in real time right through the live chat widget that is integrated as part of the app. Uh, so it's really cool. Uh, it's really innovative. No one else is doing it um, or anything like this, to be honest, uh, the way that we are. And we're really proud of it. And so I hope you check it out uh, if you have a need and you find value in the idea of delegating your digital marketing tasks and projects without the headaches of hiring. All right, so check it out at autogrow.co. Until next time, as always, keep auto growing, keep converting, apply and take action on what you're learning here. You're going to get results and stay focused. I'll talk to you soon.